Welcome back to my channel. We are doing a natural glam over today, so let's get going. For my brows, I'm using Anastasia's Brow Definer in medium brown, and I'm going to start at the tail end of my brow, going with little short strokes, going towards the end of the brow, and then blending as I go. This is probably my favorite brow tool from Anastasia. It just goes on super smooth. It makes a nice natural brow. Like I feel like I don't have to use too much product to get the brow that I want and it always comes out super natural. So you can see how I just made a line in the beginning of my brow and just blended everything up and it just completely filled in that area. To set my brows, I'm using Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel. I beat this one up, I need to get a new one. So I'm just pushing the brow hairs up and setting them. Now I'm going to use MAC's Studio Finish Concealer in NC25 to conceal my brows and sharpen them up a little bit. The brush I'm using is from Coastal Sense. It's just an angled brow brush. I used to use this all the time for my brows, I remember back in the day. So I'm just going to, you know, create a line underneath my brow, if you guys haven't seen me do my brows before, and then blend the concealer down. Since this is a very natural look, you guys don't have to conceal your brows, you could really skip this step. I'm just so used to concealing my brows and I don't know, I just love the way it looks with shadow, so I always conceal them. After that, we are going to start the eyes and this is my go-to everyday palette. It's the Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Palette. And the first shade I'm grabbing is Topaz and I'm using an E40 from Sigma to blend this out. I'm basically putting this all over the crease, I'm kind of bringing it down a little, a little bit, but this is our transition color. But this is going to be a very, very soft eye. So that's why I'm bringing it down to the lid. You can see a little closer. I'm basically just blending it all over, kind of just giving the eye a little depth. And I'm just blending that all over the lid. And then I'm going to add in citrine and kind of warm up the area. But I always keep the eyes super simple for an everyday look, especially browns and neutrals. They always work with my skin tone. Now for liner, I'm using Trooper by Cap on D, the tattoo liner. As always, this is my favorite liner, especially if you are a beginner with a wing liner, this is the liner for you. Now if you want to see an in-depth tutorial, I do have a liner and lashes video that you can look at if you really want an in-depth tutorial on how to do liquid liner. For mascara, I'm using Tarte Tardis Mascara. The lash paint, my favorite, and it just does wonders for your lashes and separation. I mean, look at the difference. It's just kind of insane. And I curl them all as always as well, but I'm going to just do the first coat, let them dry a little bit, and move on. For the face, I'm using Cover FX's Illuminating Primer. I love this primer. I don't know why. It's just so beautiful and opal and pearlescent and just, and it smells good. So, now I'm going to use Liquid Powder Foundation by Motives. This is the most interesting cream powder foundation I've ever used in my life. I'm using an F80 to blend this out. And if I didn't say it, this is from Motives and I'm in shade Almond. I'm just going to blend this all out. It, this reminds me of like a BB cream slash foundation. It's like in between because it does even you out really, really nicely and it feels really, really light like a BB cream. So I have been loving this for every day where it lasts all day and it just looks really nice. It doesn't sit into fine lines. It looks super natural like your own skin. So I am loving this foundation right now. So after blending everything out, we are going to conceal and I have to use my Tarte Shape Tape. It's just my favorite thing in the world. So I'm just going to do the under eye and the nose and then I'm going to blend everything out with my Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge, my favorite sponge out there right now. Besides the 3D HD blender I actually have been falling in love with by Sigma. So I'm just going to blend this out, triangular motion-ish and on the sides of my nose just a little bit. And I also like to sharpen my liner with the blender sometimes if I feel like it's not sharp enough. You know, I always use the blender to kind of sharpen up the eye and angle it up. Kind of gives you a little facelift when you guys do that. When you guys angle up the concealer towards the eye, it just feels like it brings the whole face up. 
setting with Laura Mercier's translucent powder in translucent and I'm just going to pack that on there not doing any serious baking now I'm using my F23 from Sigma and Too Faced Chocolate Tole bronzer and we're bronzing up the forehead the cheeks the nose the chin and the jawline this is my favorite bronzer it just goes on super smooth and the brush is amazing too it really helps to blend out the bronzer without actually setting the entire face like you can just use this brush with bronzer and it won't cake or patch or you know look strange I feel like I always usually have to set the face before but now with this brush I feel like putting on bronzer without setting the entire face with powder just makes life easier I'm just using my Too Faced Kabuki brush to blend everything out and we're gonna use lines and last night air blush by mark beauty I'm just putting this on with an f10 from Sigma my favorite blush right now it's replacing a lot of Mandarin you guys now I'm gonna go in with citrine and tiger eye and I'm going to use a Sigma smudge brush and put that underneath the eye I love putting shadow underneath my eye. I just feel like naked without it I just need it you know even if it's like a simple look like this I feel like it just creates the whole eye I'm gonna put my Tarte mascara underneath on the lower lash line as well or lower lashes as well I just love this mascara for that it really does help define and bring those lashes to life now guys I waited long enough I'm gonna curl them you don't have to do what I do and curl them after mascara I just feel like it works a lot better as long as you are super light and not you know basically cutting your lashes off with this curler you will be fine just have a light hand with it now to set the face I'm using Tatcha's Dewy Mist Spray I always like to put this on before a highlight to make sure that highlight really pops I'm using Iconics Illuminating Drops these are so amazing and I never was about you know putting on liquid over powder but these blend out super well and I use the Beauty or the Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge first but honestly guys just use your fingers the warmth of your fingers against the skin with the liquid against the powder just helps to blend it out so well so you really don't need a blender you could just really use your fingers and you guys can see here I just started using my fingers and blending everything out I also put it on the inner corners and brow bone and it just looks so pretty so glowy so natural I it looks like I got a nice summer tan in the winter I just love it my god this is my favorite highlight right now like I just love the way this looks it's just so glowy I had to put on more sorry I'm not giving you guys a finger I don't know why I always use my middle finger to blend everything out I don't know why but yes look at that so pretty now I'm using my Tarte Lip Rescue I think this is in rose and I'm just going to put that on and that is it you guys setting the face once again with Tatcha's Dewy Mist Spray and that is my go-to glowy everyday look I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have be sure to thumbs it up and subscribe if you haven't already okay so let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments below and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching I love you guys so much